to our family and friends. We would like to express our deepest sympathy and condolence to our family. Daddy and Mommy were very special people in our lives. Daddy enjoyed educating and mentoring and passing along his knowledge to our youth. With Daddy, they had the best person in their lives for this. He really cared. He and Mommy were fantastic together and was great inspiration in our marriage relationship. They gave us a lot of support and continued counseling in our marriage. We will miss them immensely, and they will continue to be a major part of our lives. We, we love, love them, them both. Dad was the best father a girl could have. He and I shared so many great moments. As a little girl, I was his shadow. As I grew older, Dad read Bible stories and explained the scriptures to me. As I got even older, he showed me how I could search in the Bible and how it could help me to understand any problem or concern I had in my life events. Thank you, Daddy, for your encouragement, exposure, and preparing me to be ready for this world today. Thank you for being the example of what to look for when choosing a life partner and father for my children. Your qualities are what led me to the awesome man that I am married to for 40 years and counting. I will love and cherish you and all of the life lessons learned always. I love you a lot, sir. And all these tributes from your former students are a true testament to the great musician and educator that you were. This is Karen, your daughter. And first, I got to thank you for caring for my mommy through her illness. And I know that we did bump heads and disagree on a lot of things. And I want to recap some of the lessons that you tried to teach me. Early on, when I got my first job, you told me, save your money. And you gave me a book on investing. I didn't listen. I had my own ideas, and I became the little mama giving my money to Big Daddy's 8600 all the time. And then you told me when I left, you said, always remember where you came from. I did that even after Uncle Sam sent me halfway across the world, and I just couldn't wait to get back to the 305. And even though... I had to learn the hard way. Just know that this Father's Day card is facts. Anyway, thank you so much for pouring your love into us and doing your best to keep us safe. I'm going to miss checking in with you, sir, and I love you. Karen. I would like this tribute to go directly to my dad. Daddy, thank you for your constant and unconditional love, your unwavering support, your invaluable life lessons and advice, the priceless and unforgettable moments we shared, and the countless sacrifices you've made to ensure my happiness and my well-being. Daddy, Thank you for giving my life meaning. You will always be in my heart and my soul. I love you, Daddy, forever. This is dedicated to Charles Doc Austin, my daddy. My daddy was a giant to me and a legend to many others. While growing up, I had no doubt in my mind that he loved me he cared for me, and he certainly cared about my future. He also loved, loved my mommy, my siblings, his music, and his students. But if I didn't get the many lectures that I got from my daddy, I don't know where I would be today. I'm thankful for that, and I'm thankful that he always called me kid no matter what. But I am truly my father's child. He was the very first man I loved. In fact, I drive sports cars today, just like my daddy did. Thank you, daddy, for making me who I am today. I love you, and I'm gonna miss you.
Hey, granddaddy. I was about nine or 10 years old when I came to visit you one time and uh, I remember you were practicing your piano and I was playing with your headphones and your, your equipment, your CDs and asking you a bunch of questions. And I remember you stopping and saying, hey, Tucky, you have a really sharp mind on you. Continue asking questions. And I didn't think much of it at the time. Uh, flash forward a few years later, I'm finishing up college and I come to visit you again. Same thing. You're playing, you're practicing your piano. I am going through your CDs again, <laughs> going through your stereo equipment, playing with your headphones. And I'm asking more in depth questions about the headphones and your stereo equipment stuff. Um, and once again, you stopped and you told me again, you're like, Hey, Tucky, your mind is extremely powerful. It's very sharp. You know, you're a brilliant kid and your mind does not work like others. It was like, I expect for you to do big and great things in life. Those words are very inspirational for me, granddaddy. And, and because of those words, I was able to accomplish a lot of things I wanted to in life because I always set my bar extremely high. Um, I love picking your brain apart and it would be selfish of me to tell you that I want to continue to pick your brain apart right this moment, but I know that you're in a better place and you're in the place that you truly want to be because I know how much you loved grandmommy. So with that being said, I'm happy where you are, all right? I love you, granddaddy. We all love you. Hey, my greatest memory of granddaddy was when I would go to grandmommy and granddaddy's house and he had the best piano and I was learning how to play piano and I would practice on his piano and he would tell me, no, 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 no. You got a piano at your house to practice on. But he never told me I couldn't play. He just told me I needed to practice at my own house. I love you, Granddaddy. My fondest memory of Granddaddy um, is probably I sat in the house with him one day probably about 25 30 minute conversation he was trying to pass a clarinet on to me trying to get another musician in the family um and i think we're all aware i did not go down that path um took to break his heart but i chose my own route um and even with that he still chose to support me i want to say the next week or so he showed up to one of my baseball games uh in full support mode loudest one out there as only the Austin family could be and now it's passed on to the next generation. My favorite granddaddy memories are singing endless love duets at the piano at Christmas time, getting picked up in his Corvette from school and taking trips to Popeye's to get some fried chicken. I love you granddaddy, rest in the most peaceful and loving arms of the Lord. We'll see you soon. God bless you. The one thing I'm going to miss about Granddaddy is going to breakfast and lunch with him, um, with both of my parents. He was always so enjoyable. His smile would light up the entire room. Um, I remember getting picked up from college and being able to see him. Um, he was truly loved and I'm going to miss him a lot. My greatest memory of Granddaddy is when I would go down to Miami with Yaya for the weekend. And uh, me, Granddaddy, and Yaya would drive to Piccadilly's and Granddaddy would get green beans, mashed potatoes, all types of stuff. And he would eat that. And under, I would say two minutes, like he was really hungry. And uh, that, I, I, just, I was just shocked, but it, it just made me laugh and I just love him so much. And when I would see granddaddy um, at the nursing home, uh, I would always make him laugh. When Even when he looks at my face, he would laugh at me and smile. 
and I'll, I'll just be sitting there with a straight face and he'll just look at me and smile. Cause he knew you didn't behave. Yes. I have been blessed and grateful to know Uncle Charlie all of my life. And in my young years as a boy, I grew up in the Austin household almost every day as if they needed another body. And each day when Uncle Charlie was there, he would lecture us and teach us life lessons that have blessed me as I've grown older. We didn't want to hear him at the time, but I am sure grateful now. As well, Uncle Charlie reiterated to me work ethic. He would come home from work teaching and grab each of his instruments and practice, practice, practice. He reiterated to me that what it took to be great. There's a wise old saying, a Greek proverb that says, an old wise man makes a great society when he plants trees whose shade he will never sit on. And so on behalf of the thousands of students that Uncle Charlie taught, on behalf of all the thousands of people that enjoyed his beautiful music, and for all of us who received those life lessons, we say thank you, Uncle Charlie. And now may you, as you go from labor to reward, may you rest in peace and rise in glory. That is our prayer. Amen. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Steve. Charles was my father-in-law. Yeah, I was one of the guys lucky enough to marry one of Charlie's angels. Now, something that I would cherish forever is when Vicky and I would go and take him out to lunch or dinner. Well, we would have our little playlist ready. Now, keep in mind, Daddy was into the old school jazz. Guys like Charlie Parker, Dizzy Gillespie, Louis Armstrong. Well, we would switch it up on him and have smooth jazz guys waiting for him. Guys like Richard Elliott, Paul Taylor, Boney James. Well, he used to listen to those guys and be like, man, these guys sound pretty good. They sound like they know what they've been doing. They've been practicing for some time. But I'll never forget one day we had on Kirk Whalen. And for him to, to see him take it from that level to a whole nother level of appreciation for music was mind blowing. He was like, man, do you hear this guy? He has a beautiful wife. He's actually singing to her right now through his saxophone. Yeah, I can actually see her, she's gorgeous. And to see that and be that close in the car and be that close to music royalty was just a gift from God. Hey daddy, gonna miss you, love you. Hey, you go be with Judy now, love you both, peace. Remembering Charles Austin. Charlie Austin was and always will be a legend in the field of music and in the lives of his former band students. For those of us who were lucky enough to have had him as our teacher, our lives have been enriched beyond measure, largely because of his dedication and desire to share his musical talent with all of us. 
He was a teacher, a mentor, and a friend. And what a gift this man gave to all of us. Charlie's universe was filled with two loves, the love for his music and the love for his wife, Judy, and his family. And we owe the Austin family a huge debt of gratitude for sharing him with all of us. It's an honor to remember his life and celebrate his legacy. Charlie, we love you and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. I'm Dr. Mary Stiles Harris, Lute Section, Brownsville Junior High, 1961 to 1964. Mr. Austin's passing leaves behind a void that will be felt deeply by all who had the privilege of knowing him. I'll always remember him as a fine musician with my fondest memories being of his impeccable style and warm smile as he graced the halls of Miami Shores Presbyterian Church. His presence brought joy to many and his legacy of music and gentleness will continue to inspire us all. He will be missed, but never forgotten. Greetings, family and friends. Uh, what can I say, Mr. Charlie Charles Austin, uh, a phenomenal musician, mentor. Uh, I met Mr. Austin at Miami Dolphins Senior High, a little inner city student in the Miami Dolphins band. He encouraged me to join the jazz band. I ended up being the only female member of the jazz band. And he taught me a lot just about music more deeply. Uh, Count Basie, uh, Charlie Parker, uh, Delonious Monk. He likes artists I would have never thought about learning about, but now I continue and, and continue to search for that. So I, to Charles Austin, I thank you so much for that. Uh, if I can make half the impact on uh, children's lives that he did, uh, then my living would not be in vain. That smile was infectious and I'll forever, ever be grateful for the experience I had in teaching me so much. God bless family and friends. My favorite memory of Mr. Austin is one that took place every time I was in his presence. And that was his radiant smile and electric laughter. They were two of the most genuine expressions I have ever experienced from another human being. His smile and laughter were free and easy, warm and welcoming, authentic and uplifting. And there was absolutely no doubt that they came from someone filled with a deep joy and love in his soul. And it was that positive energy he transferred through his smile and laughter that made others feel so valued and thankful in Mr. Austin's presence. I know he was best known for being a music man, aka horn player extraordinaire, but it was Mr. Austin's smile and laughter that will always be my sweetest music when it comes to my memory of him. In addition to Mr. Austin always sharing his joy and love, the greatest impact he had on my life was being a true example of somebody who made the most of his talent. Dr. Wayne Dyer, a renowned speaker and author, was well known for the compelling quote, never let your music die with you. Well, Mr. Austin never missed an opportunity to literally give his music away to any and everyone whenever he had the chance. Whether it was his students at school, his audience members at clubs and concerts, or anyone who stopped by his home, Mr. Austin was a melody-making machine who maximized his creative potential to bring harmony to this world. And because of his willingness to nurture and share the gift God had given him, his time on this earth will forever be remembered as a life well lived and a legacy well established. And I think that's the very best that any human being can ever hope to achieve. Rest in peace, Mr. Austin. You were a difference maker, and you left this world a far better place than the one you came into. Mm -hmm.